you, you should check. Uh, I want to go for the T-34s. Oh, nice. And it worked out. Oh, God. Rip. Hello. Nice to know all you. Plop. <laughs> <laughs> What is going on, Fly here? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're playing some more War Thunder, but we have Fabian Miesner. Miesner, he says, Fly, I heard you need a bigger gun. You need to drive our new weapon. It's called, or it's stew and called a meal. Stew or a meal, stew or a meal, I don't know. Uh, but don't worry, it's a case tank destroyer, so to cover you, we send you a Doe 217E2 bomber for tactical destruction. So we got some cool vehicles to play today. One is a Stewery Meal. A, I would say, bigger Dicker Max with 128 millimeter cannon. Very good depression. I believe the same uh, depression as the Dicker Max. And so only two of these things were built in the war. One was captured. I think the other one was destroyed. The one that was captured, it had 31 kill marks on it. Like, cause I, I do a tad bit of, well, very small bit of research before I start playing a vehicle. Just, you know, just so I can like, oh, you know, this is a cool fact. That's an amazing, you know, in video games terms, amazing kill to death ratio with only two contraptions ever built. To me, this is more of like a wonder tank, but it actually saw combat with only two built and was able to achieve 31 kills. A testament to how, you know, practical, um... A case tank destroyer is when you're trying to defend a country, especially with that gun depression. That, you know, that that makes it work perfectly into War Thunder. Now, on to the oh, there we go, on to the bombers. These are some of the most devastating bombers in Tank RB. I would go as far as to say these are the best bombers in Tank RB. Mm, yeah, I would. They're the most maneuverable with the biggest bomb load. At least, you know, at their BR. This is the Doe 217E2. Those are 2,000 kilogram bombs. And there's two more inside. As you can see, oh, excuse me. These are two 2,000 pound bombs, if you will, with 100 kilograms, plus or minus a little bit. My bad, guys. But they have four of these huge bombs inside the Doe. And so these drop at the same time to have a 2,000 kilogram bomb blast. Uh, not as powerful as a 2,000 kilogram bomb, but in you know, the same mass dropped. And then they have one bomb here, then one bomb here that drop individually. So you can potentially rack up, I don't know, five kills if you can get some multi-kills. And then we have the Doe 217E2, the same setup. And also the cool thing is that we have a 20 millimeter in here to engage... Um, ground units such as lightly armored vehicles and even just spot for our team when our, we don't have our bombs or even to check you know if a tank is alive you know with that chevron uh, but guys without further ado we're going to go ahead and get started here in the comments below let me know what you want to see next on the channel so welcome to port novo fellas we're just trying to get into position as fast as possible but fast and uh stewart emil those words really don't mix too well together I think this thing's top speed's about 26 kilometers an hour. Let's go ahead and spot. Oh my god, we got a PT-76 in the fucking water. I really want to... You guys don't see him? Okay, yeah. He sees him. There we go. Tango down. Pull him back. That that wasn't bad. That guy actually took a long time to get killed. If, if you think about it, look how much of the water he went through right there. Okay, someone just took a shot. I think it was that Tiger E. Almost reloaded on the gun. Let's all shoot. Let's 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 all slow. Let's also watch the middle. Tango. Let's rotate the gun. Where's our gun at? Not much traverse for the uh, um, gun itself. Ooh. Good shot though. Good shot. A little bit too at the mantlet though. Not a lot of action so far after that um, bounce on whatever that tank was. Maybe like an IS... Ooh. Whoa, okay, IS-2 right there. That was some action. Okay, um, that was the Panther G. 
IS-2 was over here. Let's see if we can't get our gun up to be able to engage that area. I think it was right over here that he engaged. We are starting to kind of wobble. There, a nice stable platform. Enemy tank spotted. Centurion. Waiting for the best shot possible. Right here. Oh man, that sucks. <laughs> I waited a little bit too long. A Tiger P just gunned him down right before we shot. Now there was a T-34, T-34-100 that went right to le or left to right in front of us. This damn bush wasn't here. Whoever put this bush here sucks. Whoa. Hello, Mr. IS-2. IS-2's out in the open. Beautiful. Luckily, that 128 millimeters able just to <laughs> glide right through that sloped armor. Thank goodness. Now, there was a M56 over here, but I think he might have died because there was an anti-air shooting at him. But we'll just stay. We'll just keep our eyes open for this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Tank, tank. So this, this is going to be risky. But we got to try this. I haven't spotted anyone on my left side for a while. Oh my gosh. Oh man, please please come back. Please come back. What are what are the odds? What are the odds that I just poke out and you go into cover? Maybe I'll blend into this rock here. I don't Oh yes. Boom. Pull him back. Come on. Use that reverse rate. That four kilometer an hour. I'm surprised no one shot me doing that. Holy crap. Okay, let's get back into our nice hidey hole on the left side here. A shot rang out right over here. Tank spotted. Can't really tell what it is, but I'm going to try to engage him here. Hellcat looks like. Not much time left in the game for this. Now, I could shoot through this. Let's try it. Good shot, Stuart. I mean, I want to move in, but even if I started moving in, like, after I got my first kill, first of all, I would have died, but second of all, I wouldn't have even gotten there. Come on, German, stop camping! <laughs> Alright, let's look, see if we can't get one more kill before this game's over. Oh, shit, right side. I saw something shoot from over here. Probably more down the street. Oh, wait, I can kind of see a little. Okay, fuck it. Nope, that was our last shot. Game's ended. Ash River is the map. Let's just go kill ourselves an AI right here. Boom, boom. Beautiful. I don't know one Dicker Max nor one Stewart Meal player that doesn't just fucking cream their pants when they get this map. Now, this isn't the best setup. For this map that I would like. I would like it on the left side or the southern side on the hilly portion so I could climb Sniper Hill um, and then use the depression to shoot down. Okay, they're capturing A. Let's go ahead and move in here. We have a Tiger H1 looking in that area as well. We've got two tanks down here. We got a Cromwell and something else. Don't worry, comrade. I will help. Oh, look at this depression, boys. This is just fucked up entirely. It really is. Look at that. Whoop, Tiger just got fucked up by something. Now, is there anyone else in there? He got shot from the left side. Now, this is not how you play the Stuart and Meal, but... <laughs> it's fun. Trust me. Okay, the, re the reason why I'm skeptical on someone being on the... Like, where, where my reticle is right now is I saw artillery strike in here. And uh, a chevron popped up. Let's check the left side though, because that's where the tiger got up oh, enemy. Got another British tank here. Now, if if, if they push on my left side, I'm I'm fucked. There goes a the Sherman VC. I hear I hear another 17 pounder. Am I really going to push in here and cap this area? That's really fucked up. <laughs> okay, whatever. We'll fucking do it. 24 kilometers an hour, top speed. Now let's just go check the left side, because I, I saw shots ringing out from there. Is 
This is oh come on. This is a real player, by the way. Oh my god, my my my, my scope's deviating. Oh. Now, the reason why that didn't do that much is because look how angled that Sherman is. <laughs> look at that top armor. We're gonna see if we can shoot in onto the lower glacis here. Right about there, and that should detonate him entirely. Or we could shoot the turret. But, but let's try this one. There we go, beautiful. The round went right through the transmission block, or whatever you want to call that. Okay, uh, moving into the cap now. You guys want to give me some cover? Alright. Put the nose on the left side here. This is something you don't really see a lot. In Emil doing the, the medium's work. Alright, in the cap, boys, don't worry. Okay, we'll sit right here. Perfect. Now, please, no artillery. I, I could do without artillery right now. M19, incoming. Uh, he's fucked. L look at this other anti-air right here. <laughs> I I think the ground below him killed him. Like like the explosion from the round killed him. Okay, so point is captured, we're moving on. There has to be somebody over here, right? There might be. Got an enemy plane? Not targeting me, thank goodness. Now I don't know where I'm gonna go. I I, I expected to face some enemy tanks on the right side, but we are Thank you for helping me out right there. I'm gonna see if we can climb this hill. I highly doubt it, but it's worth a try. There's a lot of enemies up here. And probably by the time we get up there, there won't be, but let's see if we can climb this hill. We're only on third gear. Second. Ooh, I think we'll be able to here, guys. Big tank, big tank. Tiger H1 versus SU-85. We can shoot him right now, guys. Oh, I fucking rushed that one. <laughs> Almost done reloading. Get him, Tiger. Good job. Look how fucked up this is. Uh oh, tank, tank, tank. Oh, I feel so bad for doing that. Ah, oh, fuck. Am I spawn camping because. Oh, I don't. I feel fucking dirty, guys. Um, let's, uh. That 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 was really fucked up. Let's let's move somewhere else. I feel bad. Don't get me wrong, but at the same time, you gotta remember that this team allowed a Stuart Emil to capture the only you know cap in the game. So something's up with that. Something did not work out correctly in that team. Potentially, maybe it was because we were versing Churchills and Cromwells and maybe some Shermans. If you think about it, the Shermans and the or the British tanks, the American and British tanks have a much harder time, you know, destroying us. Sure, they can, you know, be there first and engage us first, but they might only take out a gunner. And then we can angle, and then they bounce, and then our gunner's loaded, and then the Tiger looks at them with an 88mm and one shots. That's the meta of War Thunder, and it sucks. Um, that's all I have to say, dude. British tanks are in my personal experience, are not as fun to play at this kind of BR, you know, 6.0, 5.70, a little bit lower than that, um, just because you can't one-shot as fast. You gotta pick apart the crew. Holy War War 3! I don't know if it's just my computer screen, but... <laughs> so, you know, in War War 2, they had many advances in technology to better weapons, better engines, better airframes, etc. They also didn't invent this in World War I, but it was readily a used. A used. Used. They were called sunglasses. They were called sunglasses. Why can't we unlock sunglasses for planes? That, that would actually be pretty cool. It's like 300,000 RP for some plastic shades. Or I think actually back in the day they actually were made out of metal and glass, surprisingly enough. So if I can spot anybody, they're going to be dead. 
get an enemy tank right over A, right out in the open. Oh. Friendly, thank goodness, right here. Nice thing is, though, is this a panther? Ooh. Oh, it looks like, I don't know what this thing is. We might have two tanks here. Okay. Two bombs off. Nice splash damage here. Oh, ooh, there's a lot over there. I was trying to, I, I was hoping that the splash damage would be uh, even more than that, but the panther was able to get out of there before um, he could get affected by it. Okay, let's see where he went. Ooh, we got, this the guy we just killed? Nope, bombs away. Later. Am I someone on our six? Could be the doe though, let's check. Doe. So we could have gotten three kills, but easy two kills right there. RTB. Fucking beautiful. Now, one thing about this plane is, is that it's not that maneuverable. Well, now it is, but once it has all that big bomb load on it, no sir at all. It's going to be interesting if we have enough time to try to take this thing off, uh, back off with 2,000, or four 1,000 kilogram bombs. So things took a big turn for the worse, uh, but this is going to be our first obstacle here, trying to take off. With four 1,000 kilogram bombs, engines have spooled, four R full RPMs are a go. I don't know how they captured all three by the time it took us to land. Okay, good I-185 down, we're only at 100 kilometers an hour. This is a good airfield though, Th those trees are off in the distance, hopefully. Okay, let's bounce her out. Let's try to be as level as possible to stop the drag. Okay, I guess we should take off here. You having some trouble. Gear up. Goodness, dude. Luckily, uh, this is a, you know, much, well, this is a good runway in War Thunder. A lot of leeway to get off the ground. We got some anti-air shooting at us. Let's we'll see how far we can drop these bombs off. Oh my god, anti-air galore. Two bombs off. Good. One more bomb left. ZSU, let's turn back around. Now where did the I-16 go? Ooh, almost just got sniped right there. Fucking love this thing. It's so powerful. Just, I wish this game they were lined up better. Like a big multi-kill. Uh, you should check, uh, I want to go for the T-34s. Oh, nice, and it worked out. Oh, God, rip. Hello. Nice of you to know all you. <laughs> Plop. <laughs> rip. So, in, so what just happened is that a JU-87, um, oh, I think we have someone behind us. Let's try to go kill that guy because, you know, we're not going to have time to rearm this thing, I don't think. Yo, so what just happened, the JU-87 went for my guy that I was initially going to go for. He dropped his bomb. He didn't have that good of a delay on. He was too low altitude, and so he just fell apart. He died right in front of our eyes. Luckily, though, we didn't fly right over there because we would have got ripped, too. Or maybe it doesn't work for teammates. I don't know. Ever since that uh, tank RB team killing thing, I don't really know how it works, but it could have happened. Up, oh, I hear him. I hear him. Chase me. Where is he? He's right here. Okay, we got a 20 millimeter. Surprised I found him in the sun. Easy, though. Relax. Stop it. Stop it. Yes! I-16 down! Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! This is fucking one of my favorite new bombers. Now, I heard another plane inbound. I don't know. It sounded like... Ooh, it's actually a fighter? No, there's two enemy planes that just came in. We got a fighter up here, or an attacker. Can't really tell. And then, that's a yak. And now that looks more like a yak. Oh, come on, get him, Gunners. There you go, good job, good job. Take off flaps off. We're out. Eh, we'll try to get that uh, AR or that SB2 in before we die. I don't think these back... Let, let, let's, let's see how good the back Gunners are. Hello, Mr. Yak. Nice of you to see us. Oh my god, lol. You can die now, you can go away, you're you're on fire. Oh my gosh. Can you can you die? 
Oh, he's not dead yet! Would you go? Come on! War Thunder! Oh, and he puts the fire out. Well done. Damn, Yak T, a little slimy bastard. We almost had him. But guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. Do me a favor. Have a great day. And until next time, peace out.